Hello, monsters about here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 13 of my Catherine campaign. Every 13 episodes, unlucky for someone. And it's unlucky for me this episode as I fight two huge hordes of ogres. Here they come. Oh, God, it's a bit lag. Again, the battle was fine, and yet this is laggy as balls for some reason. I don't know why. My frame rate is a fucking atrocious on this, and I genuinely have no idea why the replay is worse than the actual battle. Fucking weird. It's, like, really bad. Like, genuinely horrific, and I don't know why. The battle, the actual battle was absolutely fine, so why the fuck is this replay so atrocious? Ugh, anyway, getting attacked the left flank. Oh, God, I can barely be asked. All right, there we go. That's better for some... God knows. Right, no, we're not moving from this spot. We'll stay here. It's fine. Large numbers of focus attacking my left flank. They're trying to flank around, but we've got the edge of the map there. I could be accused of corner camping, but to be fair, I, I am spread out quite wide. So, uh, Okay. Over here, Scrag is being attacked by everyone. We have Iron Guts also throwing themselves into the mix. Oh, my left flank is starting to collapse under the barrage of uh, ogres. It's not looking good. Fortunately, we are going to drop a Heart of Winter over there to help out. It's getting pummeled by the scrap launcher. That blob is starting to... It's just accumulating ogres at a terrifying rate. Fortunately, it's keeping them at arm's length, which means our missile units can do their stuff. Fuck me, this is appalling. Oh, God, what the fuck is wrong with this? Jesus Christ. Okay, anyway. Uh, Same with us, but I, I wasn't watching my cavalry. The wing lancer's getting eaten there. Uh, Gorge is also going to nom them. It's something to do with, it's something to do with this, isn't it? It's, it's something to do, is it the smoke effect? Maybe if I turn this way? No, nope, doesn't like it either. God knows. Oh, Jesus, this is appalling. Okay, there we go. With all the effects going off, it's fine. Doesn't it like all these units? Not a problem. Looking at the smoke or something, apparently doesn't like it. Anyway, dropping a heart of winter directly. Oh, no, not a heart of winter. A uh, an ice skate, ice thing. Anyway, we're waiting for a heart of winter. I need a heart of winter here. There is a lot of ogres blobbing up. The left flank is okay, and we're holding the line for the moment. Lots of missile units firing everything they've got into this uh, this horde of ogres. On the right flank, if you can be bothered to look at it. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yep, yeah, the Streltsy getting a lovely flanking shot there. Tearing through the ogre flank. There goes the Heart of Winter. Oh, I can only apologise for this. It's just fucking awful. I've even mucked around with the settings. I don't know what it is, but there's something. It's, it's not happy about something. There's like, at points, it goes, oh yeah, this is fine. There we go. There. Right, we'll just look at this, this direction. That's fine. God knows. Anyway, the Heart of Winter's doing its job and tearing through those ogres. Yes, big mass route happening there. Scrag then routing as well. This is two stacks of ogres as well. So this is fine. But turn around and, nope. Oh, well. Right. That sent Scrag back from whence he came. We'll take some replenishment there. How much is left? Not much. Not very much. Um... We may still have to fight it. But otherwise, good stuff. Okay. What do we want here? I could go more attack. I'm tempted to go more attack. Hmm. I... I could do some of this. I mean, that's not good. A 
attrition. If we're facing a lot of plague, but again, the plague isn't really the cause of the issue. Um, I guess it's the best thing. This is my it's the best thing in that lot. Vigor. So we could give you perfect vigor. Good old Father Jack. He's got an iron constitution. Don't we know it? And Thunderous Rater, because that's going to uh, help with his. So what's the cooldown's 45 seconds? That reduces by 25. So I mean, you're going to be able to use that pretty, pretty frequently. I think just having cooldowns of spells is good, right? Pull down to spells is good. Confirmed. Right, am I going to have to fight this? I'll take it. Right. That's a lot of ogres bopped. I, I could have fought it. It just seemed like a lot of work for absolutely no payoff. I have to load into the battle. It's it's not it's not a battle I particularly want to. It's it's not going to be any fun. Uh, I guess have a little bit of yeah. Oh, you're the Zoishnek. Did I get defenses at Zoishnek? Holy shit, I did. I'm so smart. Thinking five steps ahead. Look at that. Uh, Fort Ostrosk also has defenses. It's a lot of gold beast chariots, mind you. I was born in uh, do we push the demons back, or do we just? I think Catherine's. Like, we, we need to basically. I need to keep Kugath at arm's length. Boris Ursus himself. And I could get a little Grom. I cannot eradicate chaos alone. No, have some big burly boys do that. Upkeep reduction for Griffin Legion. Sure. I do want bear boys. How do I get bear boys? There we go. War bear riders. So I need to get the animal den. Ugh. Ugh. Snow leopards. Never the worst. Right, I'm hoping that Surely together you guys can take out some ogres, right? Because I've I've beaten up all of his armies. So you guys should be able You should be able to do something, right? Right? Uh-huh. You want a defensive line. You just cancelled your alliance with me, you little shit. But I'll take it because you're the only thing standing between me and Ted. Okay, a little bit under siege there, but that's okay. No higher because we can move to intercept. Uh, you're marching, you won't even be able to reach me. If I attack you, you run away. Oh shit, I should have... Well, no, I wouldn't have been able to... I wouldn't have been able to catch up with him anyway. So never mind. Okay, Kugath lost has been beaten off. I want some of... Oh, we need to upgrade you first. Okay, we'll upgrade you. Bring Katarin down to bop. So, wow, you've taken a lot of damage, actually. What have you taken damage from? I mean, I'm glad. And Boris... Little, 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 little level up there. Very nice. Uh, have a deadly blade. I shall enjoy this. Okay, good. Enjoy the extra... Enjoy that thing. And... I'm gonna save my pennies. For the moment. I am gonna eventually want to... Where are you going? What happened there? Did you... Did Castalton just kill himself? Responsibility to vanquish evil. Well, I mean, you say responsibility. 
sure. Having Fral, oh, is that Scarbrand? Holy shit, does Scar... Is, no, it's not Scarbrand. Phew. So, so bloodthirster, immediately panicked. It's not. It's not Scarbrand, so we're fine. We are fine. We are fine. Right. You are down there for some reason. I don't know why you're down there marching, but good. Good. Okay, we've got Gorby's chariots trying to flank around into the trees. Fortunately, we have Father Dougal and Anna moving in to intercept them in the trees. Do not want to be flanked by chariots. That would sting. Gorby's chariots, of course, in the trees. It's not going to help them. Being large units. I mean, we're large units as well, but... We're, we're tougher large units. And a buffing... Oh, he's got 116 melee attack. So these Gorby's chariots are going to get taken apart, hopefully, by our, our characters. Meanwhile, we've got more units flanking around on the left. Isn't this better than last battle? Silky smooth. Oh, that's what I like. So we've got some flesh hounds, more Gorby's chariots, four units of the buggers. Do not want to be flanked by four units. They could do a lot of damage. And worse still, if they get in amongst us, they could stop my missile units from firing. And if they stop me from firing, then I'm going to lose a melee engagement. Streltsy and the armoured Cossars getting into position to get some shots off. Hopefully whittle down those flesh hounds. Oh, yeah, that, that seems to be working. That seems to be working. So we need to deal with those Gorby's chariots over on the other flank. Father Dougal continuing to fight the Gorby's chariots at the edge of the trees there. And the other side of the forests. Anna being backed up by the Streltsy now shooting through the woods. Taking out those units. I have to be careful about Father Dougal. He's going to get surrounded by Halbards and Blood or Forsaken even. Uh, which could be bad. Oh, Gorby's Chariot's charging into Streltsy. Not a particularly potent charge, which is good. Okay, boosting up our Vigor there. And the Gorby's Chariot is tired. They're starting to rout. And here comes the main body of the army. Obviously, it'd be better if they brought the chariots around at the same time. That would leave me dealing with everything at once. That's how you deal with a missile-heavy army, is you just hit them with everything at the same time. They can't shoot everything. And then you tie their units up. Now, we're surrounded by Forsaken here, but Father Dougal is uh, is having... He's, he's going to be in trouble as these Chaos Warriors of Corn with Halbards are fast approaching with uh, an extra 19 bonus versus large. That's not good. Well, it is good, and that's the problem. On the left flank, it's a bit messy, so we're dropping down a Heart of Winter, my favourite spell in the Kislev repertoire. Armoured Kossar's getting into position. Oh, Gorby's Chariot charging in there, sending them flying. They were not ready for that. But uh, we still got Father Jack to help out. So far, so good. The centre of the enemy army has been destroyed. So what we can do now is we can move our missile units around to deal with the flanks. Father Jack, oh, Father Dougal, sorry, is a little bit surrounded here. He's managed to kill eight, which is fine, I guess. Uh, damage value 600, that's okay. Anna, on the other hand, 29. He's, uh, yeah, he's, he's done very well. He's done very well for himself. He's a, he's a good boy on his bear. Gorby's chariots coming out of the trees, uh, but then getting a face full of gunshots. Thanks to the Streltsy and the Cossars. Oh, just tearing them to pieces. 
more Corsars and Streltsy moving up to the flanks there, looking down into this little dip where the Chaos Warriors and uh, Demons are sort of sheltering. That means we can now spot them and take them apart. It's the enemy general. Blistorgal Lord of Egu. Agu. Egu. Getting shot up as well. Heart of Winter being dropped on their heads. Now getting to melee combat with the Streltsy. But the Streltsy, I mean, they've got. They've got armor piercing weapon strength. And they're as good as Chaos Warriors in melee combat. So. The Streltsy could probably see off Chaos Warriors fairly easily. Oh, there's, there goes that Heart of Winter. Such a good spell. Uh, I think Father Dougal died. He got surrounded by Halbards and just murdered. Never mind. He kept those Gorby's chariots at arm length for a little while, didn't he? That's all I needed. I think he's immortal anyway. Well, we lost one of our Patriarchs, but never mind. Not a big... Oh, we got Plague as well. <sighs> Dougal. Dougal was wounded. And we've got five turns of attrition. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, Corson is a big scary boy. Ted's army's pretty fucked for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. poxander has got a mostly Zinch force, which is interesting. And I'm going to lay a little ambush here. Why aren't you doing anything? Do something. Thank you. I am most wise. People often say that. I often get told I am wise. Fairly frequently. Uh, let's give you more armor because I do. Oh my God, Patriarch's so boring. They're such a boring character, aren't they? Uh, do I want? Do I want this? I'm mostly taking it for the attrition reduction. So, okay, if we grab that. Anna, you're doing great stuff. Be a drafts master. And have lightning strike. Sure. And Annie... I guess give you that one? I guess... We did... I think Prague's probably in a better position. Because it's close to the front line than Kislev. I mean, not by much, but still it is. So, I probably want to get... Um, some more recruitment buildings here. Like, getting the ice training fields might be a good idea. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm mulling it over. Need to get Katarin to kick Ted's in the old head, though. No uh, peace treaty. Sure, that'll keep you off my back. More money. More melee attack. More money. Always the monies. Am I just out of range? Oh, no, I am in range. I can get you. We're going to get you. I'm coming for you, Corson. No, I'm not even going to let you finish that sentence. A banner of murder. Sure. Like, I don't know why I'd want Vanguard to deploy anyone. Literally no point. Okay. I could probably auto resolve this. But being so close to Ted, I'm going to make sure we do this nice and cleanly.
So spawning in some blood letters. That is going to disrupt my ice guards. But uh, those blood letters are going to die pretty quickly. Corson moving up. I've got the, the slightly varied Greater Demons mod. So it kind of like changed their colours a little bit. So Corson here is just like obsidian black. Which I think really fits a bloodthirster. Just kind of, I don't know, like, like reds, obviously, you know, blood and everything, but it just, black just makes him look fucking terrifying. And it looks like he's going to land. Uh, he did take a lot of damage. And Katarin's going toe to toe with him. He's got frostbite. We've got a kitty nomming his bottom as well. But he is surrounded by the ice guards with their magical anti-large attacks. With the old glaives there. So they've got an extra 17 bonus versus large. So uh, Coulson's taking a lot of damage, but his army is approaching. We're going to try and slow that down with an ice sheet. On the right flank, our cavalry trying to deal with the Gorby's chariot and doing fairly well. Chariot's not particularly good against enemy cavalry. That's why it's always dicey to bring them, because if you don't have full control of the battlefield, your chariots are going to get picked apart by enemy cavalry. Corson goes down, finally. That frees up Katarin. Not that we really need to be, you know, freer up. Meanwhile, Bjork fighting some spawn of chaos. Creating a blizzard in the center there, which throws units around. And basically it's just holds them back, stops them from approaching. They're going to have to go round that. But at the same time, the Ice Guards are just unloading everything they've got into these Chaos Warriors. They just can't take it. There we go. Mass routes happening. I do, I'm not surprised. On the left flank, the Spawn of Corn chasing off the Griffin Legion. But Father Ted's keeping them busy long enough to get their attention once more. And the Ice Guard can pick them off. Finish off the last few little dregs there. And to make sure this army doesn't survive, the Griffin Legion are going to make sure that none of these Corn Chaos Warriors return back to the Chaos Wastes. Okay. With Corson beaten back, I think it's time we took the fight to Ted. Now, he could potentially attack Fort Ostrosk, but I don't give him any chance of taking that in his current state. So. If we can build up Boris's force to a satisfactory level, I think what we'll do is we'll pop you in there. And we'll build that one. And I would like to give you some war bears, but we don't have access to them yet. But we will do. So, Boris is going to hold our right flank. While Katarin and Anna are going to push Ted back. And I'm hoping that maybe the, the entirety of the Empire will be able to push, or at least keep Scrag occupied. Because our objectives, to win, we need to destroy the Legion of Chaos. Now, we're going to get the Great Orthodoxy. That's no problem. We're going to confederate them in... Well, not not actually <laughs> that long. Um, that's going to be fairly easy. So, once we've got them, we just need to deal with Ted. Now, unfortunately, Ted has spread into the mountains here. So, he is a problem. And I suspect we're probably going to have some issues over here as well. Because Kugath is going to keep coming down through uh, this pass over here. And I'm... I, I'm amazed that Scarbrand hasn't attacked me yet. Touch wood, it might take him a little bit longer before he gets the sudden urge to. But I get the, the sneaky suspicion that he, he is going to he is gonna come down. And when he does, I suspect he's going to bring a lot of stuff with him. 
I suspect he's probably dealing with Seleucus Sinesh, but they have dropped considerably in the strength rank. They've only got four settlements left, and the Exiles of Corn have got 21. So I think we'll be facing a lot of corn fairly soon. But that's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.